Hi, I'm Jesse with Mastercam, and today I'd like to show you some of the guided chaining options in Mastercam. Let's look at this aerospace cabin door latch part and investigate some ways that the new chaining dialog can cut down on wireframe creation when creating toolpaths. First, I want to create a contour operation that will cut the entire outside silhouette boundary of the shape. I do this by going to the Toolpaths tab and selecting 2D Contour from the 2D Toolpath Gallery. This launches the new chaining dialog for Mastercam 2020. Two geometry selection modes are located at the top of the dialog, wireframe and solids. For this operation, I'm going to select directly off the solid model, so I use the edges function, which is the top left icon. Mastercam will prompt me to select an edge, so I'll click on the first entity of what will become my chain. Once I've started my selection, three arrows will appear. The start of the chain is shown in green, red indicates the default direction for the chain, and the blue arrow shows the alternate branch. I can advance the chain in two ways, either by hitting the next button in the chaining dialog or by clicking the arrow that highlights the route I want to follow. As I advance around the part, there may be areas where Mastercam follows a different route than I need. I can back up by clicking the previous button, which is new to Mastercam 2020. Clicking previous will back my selection up by one edge and leave the rest of my selected chain in place. When I'm back to the proper branch location, I can either click the blue arrow or click the adjust button. The edges chaining method allows me the freedom to be creative in how I create my chains. For instance, I can adjust the chain to go back to the other side of the part. Once adjusted, I can continue to advance around the part either by clicking the arrow I want to follow or by using the functions in the chaining dialog. When I'm satisfied with my selection, I can click OK to close the chaining dialog, which will then launch the contour toolpath. When you've selected a complex chain that has varying depth, Mastercam will set the contour type to 3D by default. However, I'm machining the silhouette boundary of the part, so I need to make sure that the toolpath that's generated is a 2D contour. On the Cut Parameters page, I set the contour type dropdown to 2D, then go to the Linking Parameters page and set the depth to Z0. After this, I can set the Top of Stock by clicking the Top of Stock button and selecting an appropriate auto cursor position on the model. Next, I can click OK and let Mastercam generate the toolpath. Once I inspect the toolpath and am satisfied with the result, I can launch Machine Simulation to view the toolpath in motion. 